Alright guys, round one uh, with blue light blink. Here we go on the play. Um, three spells, four lands, double wall of omens, aether spell bomb, non-stop dirtle. Let's do it. Uh, we'll keep our opponent's name is Garrick, which means he's probably going to be casting dumb green spells, um, which is excellent. Gladly take that. Cast your dumb green spells into our sweepers and sun titans all day long. <clears throat> I don't know when when looking at opening hands with this deck um it just seems to be like such a motley collection of like hopefully this gets me there cards um but i will say that uh this deck does do a great job of just buying time like low missionary to gain you some life is normally like equal or almost equal to like one turn of tarmogoyf hitting us uh pilgrim's eye can like grab us a land and chomp for a turn um, this deck really does a good job of just like staying alive until you reach the mid game which is like casting a sudden titan which it's able to do in the mid game because we play such a high land count and we have things like wall of omens and cortisar and pilgrim side of cycle um, so it's like awkward as it seems like these these hands that are just like how is this ever going to get us there it does end up getting us there quite often um, so I'm going to hold off on this island because uh, I don't want him to just drop a lord and start swinging. Uh, make him try and use his spreading seas on like a plains or something. Though he'll probably use it on this ghost quarter. I guess this flooded strand could just fetch another plane so we could hold the ghost quarter. We don't really want to be drawing more lands at this point. I think that's the way to play it. Wall of omens, yeah. More lands. <laughs> Black. Wall of Omens OP. Two mana, draw a card, gain a life. Alright, that might not be the best, but still fine. So we'll play this Flooded Strand. We'll play a wall. We'll draw our fourth wall. And we'll pass the turn back. Hopefully we can find a mana leak. All of the silver gill adepts. That's not bad. And there's our Sun Titan. Okay. So we're going to play our wall. And I think we play our fourth wall. We just want to get him to try and like spreading seas. Eh. Or like tap out for a Master of Waves, at which point we can Detention Spirit. Um, I do like using our mana this turn, that way next turn we can go like Detention Spirit, hold up Negate. So I think I just want to play the fourth wall. That mono white four wall of omens control. Yep, there he goes. And the Lord. Swing in with the team. So we can detention sphere the spreading. No, detention sphere the spreading seas won't work because he'll still have his lord. I think we need a detention sphere the lord. Hope he doesn't have another lord.
we could always uh, detention sphere our spreading seas and then our ghost quarter would be tapped like we could play the island detention sphere our spreading seas and then like leave the ghost quarter untapped and then we get when it goes into combat we can blow up our own island for our planes but that sets us back a land which I don't really want to do when we can drop Sun Titan next turn so I think we can go to 14 um, just like play detention sphere alone missionary and then next turn we can like Sun Titan getting back Aether Spell Bomb should be fine Why couldn't you play green creatures? Things would have been so much easier. Yeah, I guess we're dead if he has another lord. This, I don't know, it's what happens. It's what happens against spreading disease. We need a supreme verdict. Are we just dead immediately? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11? No. So we have one draw to hit a, uh, hit a verdict, which isn't in our main deck, I don't think. Maybe it is. I guess it's not. Spell does not help us. We are dead. Well, boys. Yeah, yeah, I thought we don't have these. Oh, we have two verdicts. Okay. So it's the third verdict in the Wrath of God that comes in after board. Okay. Um, well, like, Mortar Pots to hit his Silvergill Adept and his Curse Catchers and stuff. Like, you'd think this would be a great matchup. Um, I don't know. We want the other lone missionary. We want, um, I don't think we want dispels. We can cut these leaks. We can cut the negates. I've not been impressed with gifts. Like, we can turn two meddling mage on spreading seas. That doesn't seem that good. There's just a lot of cards that we're not interested in. Maybe the mana leak is fine on the play. Like, I know he has cavern. Yeah. We'll bring in the disenchant for his vial and his spreading seas. That seems fine. And then the mana leaks. Keep it. The three, the three ghost quarters. Uh, sneeze coming in. Maybe, maybe not. So one thing I will say after playing a few matches with this deck um, that it's just the same thing that I've always felt about blue white uh, or like you know the purely reactive Drago control which this is not Drago control by the way this is tap out control um, so I guess that doesn't necessarily apply uh, the tap out so like we'll talk about Drago control first um, the one re like the main reason why I've never really felt like uh, the big Drago control deck in the format, Just Guy Control, has ever been like tier one. It's just because it's too hard, the answers aren't good enough, and the card draw isn't good enough in modern to be able to be purely reactive and cover all your bases against all the weird things that people are playing. You just can't build your deck in such a way that it's great against uh, Infect, Affinity, Burn, uh, Grixis Control, Twin, um, Jund, 
uh, weird combo like Living End, Scape Shift. You, you just can't, like, all of those uh, decks require, like, vastly different answers, and there's just not a large enough sideboard, and the card draw isn't good enough um, for you to be able to cover your bases and have a great matchup against everything. And that's why I'm always surprised when I see Blue White Red Control do well. Um, I know Sean McLaren can win with it, but he's a super genius. Um, and what this deck is trying to do is just trying to play control, but like, you know, kind of like battle cruiser magic, just a little bit different in the way that you're just like slamming down your things at sorcery speed, like, you know, like all sorcery speed stuff and just hoping that it's better than what your opponent can do. Um, and in one sense it, this deck has the inevitability of just a really strong late game and, uh, a myriad of the sky ruin. Um, just to punish anybody trying to like, you know, fight it once it can get to the mid game and it's very good at getting to the mid game. Um, but at the same time, like the stuff that it's doing is just very underpowered compared to what everybody else is doing. So like if you can make it to that point, you should be all right. But along the way, you know, our cards just stink when they're matched up against opponents cards. Um, so it's interesting, like sometimes the deck, you know, it seems well. It seems like it, you know, it plays well and our opponent just can't, like, you know, he's just spinning his tires trying to fight through our value. And then other times it, you know, just seems to kind of fall apart a little bit. The one thing about Mortar Pod is I cannot F6 on my opponent's turn anymore if I want to play correctly. You gotta get that point. So we're going to play the Cortisar, we're going to lose it, um, but it can, I think I'd, you know, I'd rather keep, have a land than, like, sacrifice my land to try and fix my mana some more. I'll just Cortisar and hope to find a, uh, a white source, but, yeah, like, we can sacrifice this guy. Um, I think I just want planes so I can cast a little missionary next turn or detention sphere. So we can Detention Spear the Vile now. He flashes in a Lord. Um, next turn he could like drop a Master and we Wrath. Seems pretty good. The other option is just like play a Lone Missionary or we could play the Hallowed Fountain. All of those are valid plays, but I think I just want to get the Vial off the table because if we just play Lone Missionary, like next turn he can either leave the Vial on two or take it up to three, have another Mirror Regi Rajiri, and then if we Wrath, um, then he could just end up turn like Flash and another guy, Animate, hit us with Mutable and something else. Um, so I think I just want to get the Vial off the table.
Hopefully it's like a silver gill or something that we can shoot. Well, I guess we can't shoot it. Man, covering all his bases. Load me up there, bud. Play your master. Play it. Good boy. Jeez, he's got it all. Ay. Taken seven. Seems to be pretty good. He's got a Master of the Pearl Trident. Um, I guess if he plays Master of Waves, he gets to make two dudes, but we can just like low missionary equip, kill his guy. Yeah, this is fine. We have Ghost Quarters to, to find this extra white if we really need it. We are in a good spot. thing give me a thing that's not a thing <laughs> why oh no all I wanted was a thing we're not on the worst clock but we're on a pretty bad clock We are at 10. We are at 9, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can be at 9. Something good? Turn target creature card. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven. No, I think we're dead. There seems to be nothing we can do. Except draw a sweeper. Yeah, we're dead. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Womp womp. Alright, that's another one. Okay, we will try one more time and we'll see uh we'll see if this deck has any legs. Alright, be back for round three.